Hi, everybody. Now, today I'm checking out a uh, new little prototype uh, frame I just put together. I'm calling it the uh, Sky Jumper. And like my previous uh, two frames, it's a little three inch lightweight uh, CADX Vista build, but incorporating some ideas that I had based on the uh, previous two. And also, thanks to a suggestion from a viewer called uh, Mr. B, I got the uh, carbon cut out at a place called CNC Madness, uh, and he was right, they did a really good job. And I got the pieces uh, very quickly, less than a week, and the prices were very competitive with Arma 10, less than 20 bucks for all these, uh, for the carbon that you see in this kit, and the quality of the carbon and the cutting, I, I have no complaints with. So I'll definitely be uh, using CNC Madness in the future for more uh, custom framework. Uh, but anyway, back to this one. So the idea here I had was that uh, just run the uh, Vista and the Zeus in line like this, and if you do that, I thought there's gonna be plenty of space above the Zeus, so I tried. To, I thought I would make use of that putting the uh, camera above the Zeus, and also there's space for a receiver, and also that's where I have the, the cap is sitting in there, above the flight controller. And then the motors are um, the FRC 1105 5000KV uh, motors. These are the ones from the uh, 4K Cineking, and on that build they're uh, spinning 2-inch props on 4S, and I think uh, they're much happier here spinning 3-inch uh, props on 3S in open air. Uh, so this, yeah, this is a little, little 3S build, and uh, came in actually quite light. I wasn't uh, intending this, but uh, with a battery this actually weighs less than 150 grams. The quad is 108.3, and then if I add this uh, 3S520, which is what I flew it with today, 149.92, so just under 150 grams. Not bad at all. So let me just uh, mount the battery so you can get a sense of what that's like. So yeah, it goes together like this. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, I want to make a couple of uh, refinements to the, to the design, especially around here in the arm and the motor mount section, and then maybe make uh, yeah, 5 to 10 kits and make them available in my little shop, just like I did previously with the Insta360 Go mounts, which, thanks to everybody that bought one of those, I'll try to put something together with all the, uh, you know, the standoffs and the uh, TPU parts and uh, and the carbon, but uh, you'll have to supply, obviously, all the hardware for the motor screws and every, everything else like that. So I look forward to that in the next few weeks, hopefully, if I can get everything together. One thing that's missing right now are these little 16 millimeter standoffs. Those are currently sold out, so we'll see. Hopefully those come back in soon, and I'll order a few and try to put together some kits. Uh, but anyway, in the meantime, uh, let me show you a quick uh, flight I had with this today, just one of the first few flights, just testing it out, looking for Jello and that. Uh, happy with this so far. I'm going to keep uh, refining it a bit and then maybe make a little kit version of it. But for now, please enjoy a little short flight uh, with this, and uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.